Good evening everyone, if you don't know, you should know. My name is Ramiz Khan and I am a filmmaker and a film critic. And uh, we are reviewing The Wire, season one. If you walk through the garden, you better watch your back. For years, people have been telling me, Ramiz, you're missing out on the greatest TV show of all time. I had just finished watching The Shield, which is my favorite show of all time, and I started watching The Wire, and I didn't quite get it, so I abandoned it. This time, I told myself, I stuck it out. I told myself, I'm gonna watch The Wire no matter what, no matter how boring it is. I'm glad I made that decision. The issue with The Wire. The Wire is a product of notoriously bad timing. This show came out when The Shield had just premiered, and the Sopranos were on a roll. And the writing and the pacing of The Wire simply could not came up with the machismo and testosterone that The Shield and Sopranos got. Just thinking about The Shield makes, I can't even open my, there you go. It took me a long time to open this fist. That's how badass The Shield was. The Wire is none of that. The Wire does have its moments of badassness, but The Wire is a show about a city crumbling on itself. As the very first line in the very first episode tells you what this show is all about. It's about America. This is a show that everyone should watch, but moreover, I think this is a more important show for the people living in America. Every American should watch this show, as it shows you the corruption of cities and the political and bureaucratic structures that we're born into, and how eventually those structures lead to our downfall. And it even uses a fantastic scene in the third or fourth episodes where D'Angelo Barksdale, one of the prominent characters of the show, is showing the other guys how to play chess and he points out that we're all pawns in a chess game. Everyone agrees that that's one of the best scenes of The Wire, and rightfully so. Another one of my favorite scenes is, I believe, in episode four, Herc, who's another one of my favorite characters, and the reason why everyone is afraid of fat, balding, white cops nowadays. Herc is trying to pull a desk in, so he gets some help from the other half of the team, to no avail. The desk does not budge, and it turns out later that Herc was trying to pull the desk in while the other team was pulling it out. On the surface, it's a hilarious scene. It made me smile. It's a commentary on the development of the police team and the lack of communications between the department. That same theme is prevalent on the other side of the law, with D'Angelo Barksdale and Stringer Bell. The whole crew sees D'Angelo Barksdale as a weakling. And Stringer Bell, who's an awesome character played by the awesome Idris Elba, represents irony. I love how he rags on everyone saying, do you think these guys want to get a job, work for real, when, in, when you find out that this guy's actually doing the same thing he's preaching against. The writing on this show is absolutely impeccable. There's a scene where Jimmy McNulty, our protagonist of the show, enlists the help of Bunk Moreland, his partner and friend, to investigate a crime scene. They go to said crime scene and they investigate the whole place with the word fuck and variations of it. I was mesmerized as I could not figure out as to how one word and variations of that same word never got boring. Now let's talk about the pacing of this show. This is what intrigued me about this show. It's almost as if you're solving the case yourself. I love how it takes its time showing us the jargon used on the streets and showing us the inner workings of the police department and detective work. Bubbles, who is sort of an informant for the police team, uses a system to identify high priority targets by putting a red hat on them. Very cool work. It's paced very accurately and realistically. I mean, no case will get solved in an episode like you see on CSI and all that stuff. So I love the pacing of this show. The show is called The Wire, by the way. You do not see a wiretap until episode seven. The previous six episodes explore how hard it is to get a wiretap as the team has to provide reasons for a wiretap. Yeah, again, it, this is a story about structures, how many different corporate structures and bureaucratic structures our team has to go to just to get a wire for friggin' criminals. It's incredible. And finally, the wiretap plays as a link and a mirror to both sides. It shows us how different yet how similar both sides are, the drug community and the cops. This isn't a show about good or bad, it's a show about people. It examines how being on different stages on the ladder of your life 
can be a burden on you no matter what there will always be a limit on you if you're up here or down here this first season plays out like a great tragedy as i presume the whole series does because it shows you these characters who want to do the greater good but are told listen you can't do the greater good look at stringer bell he he clearly wants to get away from the gangster life look at jimmy mcnulty he's so motivated in solving cases but he's not given permission to do so you are never going to see any non-diegetic elements in this show now what is non -diegetic? diegetic. A non-diegetic element is like music. A film score is non-diegetic as it is coming from an outside source which is not in the world of the movie or TV show. All the music you're gonna hear on The Wire happens to be happening in the show. It's playing on the radio, in the bar, that's it. That's all the music you're gonna hear. You're never gonna hear a film score underlying a scene. Now the cinematography is great because it's not cinematic. Now, how might you ask, is that great? Well, because it adds to the story The Wire is telling. It's very grainy. The images are very grainy, and they're shot in natural light, and there's minimal to little tinkering by the post-production team, as I said before about the non-diegetic elements. Five out of five for The Wire. Absolutely incredible first season, man. The pacing is a bit slow in the beginning, but trust me, stick to it. This plays out like a novel. There's no element they introduce for no reason. Everything matters in this show. It's a really complex show at times as well but seriously don't feel bad for hitting that rewind button as usual people thank you so much for watching hit that subscribe button as it is absolutely free and then hit that like button thank you so much for watching i will be continuing the series with four more seasons of the wire left thank you so much for watching i will be seeing you soon remember to love yourselves